Stand up for yourself and take no blame for it. Grandma's Porch, a place to relax, a place to enjoy. Come visit Grandma's Porch. Stand up for yourself and don't take blame for what you didn't do. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. You know, growing up, um, the people, a lot of the people that I were around, um, they never stood up for themselves. They really didn't. They just let people walk all over them and um, they really didn't say anything. They talked behind that person, but they didn't talk to that person. They didn't stand up for themselves. And so I learned early on to stand up for myself. And yet, do I like doing it? Of course not. None of us like to have to um, go against the grain, so to speak. And yet, there are times in life that people will bully other people and we have to stand up in the right way. And I'm talking about doing it in the right way, politically correct or, or you know, however is necessary, but we shouldn't let people run all over us and bully us in life. And so recently I knew someone who had been pretty much bullied at work in the workplace setting. Now I find that, you know, it's almost hard to believe that that could happen in today's society, but it does happen. And it probably happens more times than we ever know. I've had it happen to me in the workplace many, many years ago, where I was working in an office full of women who were, you know, constantly bickering with themselves. And they would often be nasty to me. I ended up quitting. Well, of course, when I, when I told them I was quitting, they said, oh, you can't quit. We don't want to lose you. But it was kind of ironic. But they just fought all the time and they bullied all the time. And so anyhow, I told my friend, I said, you know what? You need to do this in the right way. You need to stand up for yourself and you need to go to your boss and you need to take zero blame if the other person tries to turn the tables on you because you did absolutely nothing wrong. This person has intruded in your space. They've uh, verbally bullied you. And I said, you need to stand up and you need to stand up right and don't back down. And they did. They did. They stood up. They didn't take any blame for anything that happened. I believe that if we've played a part in something, then we need to take our blame. But if we played no part in it, we don't need to take that blame. I don't care if a boss says, well, you need to take some of the blame. No, absolutely not. Unless I did something wrong, unless I did something that, uh, that I should take the blame, absolutely not going to take blame for something I did not do. And I don't care who it is. And so... Um, I believe in standing up for ourselves. I believe that in life, we are going to meet situations throughout life. It could be almost in any situation where we have to speak up, but we need to always remember to do it the right way, the right way. There's a right way to stand up and a wrong way. And a lot of people stand up and they do it the wrong way. I believe in going to the right people that I need to go to, to voice my, uh, to voice what I have to say. You know, if you go to a wrong person that can't help you or, you know, let's say you go to a coworker. Oh, I'm so unhappy. This person's bullying me. The coworker can't probably do anything to help you. But if you go directly to the higher ups, your boss, or even higher than that sometimes, um, that's where those people will likely help you and understand or do something about it. And so for me, I stand up in life. I'm, I'm a fighter 
in the right way. And when I say I'm a fighter in the right way, I don't mean in any wrong sense. I'm a fighter who stands up and I don't take blame for something that is not mine to take blame for. And so what I do is I say the truth and I tell the truth and I say, I'm not backing down from my truth just because you want me to take a, por a portion of the blame of something that I had no part in. Because often in situations, um, they try to make it two sides of the pancake. You know, well, there's two sides. Sometimes there's only one side to that pancake and that's the right side. Well, it's the right side, my side. And, um, you know, I believe in always looking at, did we play a part in something? And if we did, then we need to self-correct it, admit it, and then move on from it. And yet if we played no part in it and it was someone else that did it take no blame for that and stand up for yourself in my opinion from my house to yours may god bless you and i hope to talk to you soon again make sure to like share and subscribe please from grandma's porch to wherever you're at talk to you then bye-bye